Hey everyone, I'm Gary Hoban and welcome to Refinery Life Australia. Our goal this year is to release a new video and podcast every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. We're studying the spiritual gifts at the moment and the theme of this series is gifts of the Holy Spirit. Now it's important to remember that a positive response on our part as believers to the Father's gift of the Holy Spirit is absolutely essential if we are truly to be God's people. And today we're discussing the gift of teaching. The text we're going to read from is Ephesians 4.11. And it says, And he gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the shepherds, and the teachers. In the scripture reading, if you want to read some more, is Romans 12.1-7. It talks about a living sacrifice. Let's read it now together. It says, I appeal to you, therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. And then it talks about the gifts of grace in verse 3. It says, For by the grace given to me I say to everyone among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think with sober judgment, each according to the measure of faith that God has assigned. For as in one body we have many members, and the members do not all have the same function. So we, though many, are one body in Christ, and individually members of one another. Verse 6 goes on to say, Having gifts that differ according to the grace given to us, let us use them, if prophecy in proportion to our faith, if service in our serving, the one who teaches, in his teaching. Now, right now, it's sad to say, but there are many believers that seem to be mothballed. Right now, sitting there doing nothing, like rusting old ships, anchored in some sheltered harbour, they forget that a spiritual war rages around them. The church should not be inactively isolated in some religious river somewhere but should be out on the high seas fighting the enemy. One gift that many Christians seem to have put in mothballs is that of teaching. With so many children churches, kids churches, you know, all sorts of parts of ministry and pieces of ministry crying out for competent spirit-filled teachers, or they're complaining because the people they get to come and teach are misfits. Every believer should examine their own life to see whether they possess the gift. If they do, they should start using it. They should start teaching. And if they don't, they should quit trying. If you're not teaching God's word, don't teach. It's simple. But in the subject of today's message, as I said, is the gift of teaching. So we need to look at some of the assumed facts concerning teaching. Because you're a school teacher may not mean you're going to be a good Bible teacher. Teaching is the imparting of knowledge. I think we can all agree on that. And this definition would be applicable in any field. But when it comes to spiritual things and the work of the Spirit, teaching is imparting knowledge in regard to the Bible. Teaching is closely related to preaching. Preaching is directed to the will. It involves persuasion and exhortation. And teaching is directed to understanding. Its method is explaining and clarifying. Unfortunately, teachers in churches are often pushed down and kept in the corner in favour of preaching, but the two are required together. Teaching is a gift greatly needed in the churches today. A knowledge of God's word is always a must. A knowledge of Jesus is a is of paramount importance. Therefore, all churches need to be controlled, or be filled, sorry, with spirit-controlled teachers. So what's the definition of the gift of teaching? The gift of teaching is the supernatural ability to explain clearly the ability, the and, sorry, explain clearly and apply effectively the truth of God's word. The terms that need to be, these terms need to be separated and discussed. The gift 
is a supernatural gift. It's a spiritual gift. All people who teach well do not necessarily have the gift of the Spirit. Their ability may just be a talent. The supernatural gift, however, will likely be built on talent. We need to remember that. To adequately grasp the meaning of this gift, we need to distinguish between talent and spiritual gift. Talent is present from natural birth, but the gifts are present from spiritual birth. Talent operates through the common activities of society, and spiritual gifts through the special grace of the church. Talent communicates any subject, but the gifts communicate biblical truths. Talent often leads only to an understanding of the subject, but gifts prepare for involvement and obedience. It is certainly an important thing to have the talent for teaching, but it's also possible to have the talent but not have the spiritual gift of teaching. This is a gift that enables the teacher to explain things clearly. Jesus used simple objects and words to explain his teachings. Words like vine, seeds, sheep and the body. The Spirit enables teachers to do the same. This gift is the ability to apply the truth and it will lead to the involvement as well as imparting knowledge. It will get people involved in the Word. It will get them excited about ministry. And this gift of teaching holds to the body of truth. The truth is God's Word. It's the Bible. And those who have the gift do not originate their message, but they receive it direct from God. The gift of teaching is significant. Unfortunately, it keeps getting made insignificant in some churches. But it's significant because of the importance and the value of teaching. It would seem that the gift is bestowed on, on many believers. There is a strong need for able teachers. The Lord does not let this go unnoticed. Rather, he bestows this gift on as many teachers as he needs, but only those who are willing to use it. Because of the importance and the value of teaching, it would also seem that teaching has a variety of different ministries. The Holy Spirit knows all who need teaching, including the various age groups. It's not just the young, it's the old as well, and, and everyone in between. The different audience sizes, it doesn't matter whether you're a church of two or two thousand. It doesn't matter about cultural and educational levels. The Holy Spirit knows who needs teaching. And he enables a necessary number of teachers to help reach these people. And because of the importance and value of teaching, and since it is evident that the gift has been given to many, with various outlets, we can assume that Christians are to be well equipped. Now, although the Holy Spirit is sovereign, and although he bestows gifts on those who he chooses, it appears that the Christian church needs to pray for proper character and will, so that the more spiritual-filled teachers will become available. Until next time, stay in the blessings.